In this video, we'll be going over several examples of how to create simple text designs to use for your t-shirts. I'll be demonstrating how to make t-shirt designs that feature text as the main focus. This could include cool slogans, something funny, inspirational or motivational quotes, clever sayings, or any other text you like. Plain text designs are easy to create, even for beginners, and can look good on a variety of shirt colors and styles. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to create t-shirt designs with text as the main focus. So from the Canva homepage, let's start by opening up a blank t-shirt design project. To do this, let's go up to the search bar here and type in t-shirt. From the results, you should see a tab that says t-shirt with the t-shirt icon beside it. Let's click that now. This will take you to the t-shirt templates page. At the top left, you should see an option that says create blank. Let's click this to open up a blank t-shirt project. This will open up the Canva editor where we can create our t-shirt design. Let's use the slider at the bottom here to make my template a bit bigger so we can see a little better. Also, I plan to create a t-shirt design for a black shirt. So let's select my template background and click the background color icon at the top toolbar. From here, you can use the menu on the left to select whatever color you want to use for your background. So now that I've changed my background color, Let's go over how to create text t-shirt designs. Since we'll be focusing on text, let's click the text icon from the menu on the left hand side. This will open up a menu with various options to add text to your template. To add text to use for my t-shirt design, let's click the add heading tab here. This will add a new text box to your template that you can edit. So for my first text element, I'm just going to write the word travel. I'm actually going to add several text elements so that I can resize and move them around individually. For my next text element, let's click here to add a subheading. And honestly, it really doesn't matter which heading you select because they can all be resized as needed. So let's change the default text to the text I want to use for my design. And this t-shirt design will actually be my definition for travel, so this should all make sense shortly. Let's move it to the left underneath my other text element. And for the last text element I'm going to add to my t-shirt design, let's click here to add some body text. Let's make this text box a bit wider by dragging the side here and move it down a little as well. Also, my text is currently centered, so let's click the alignment icon from the toolbar up top here to align my text to the left. So now, let's select the default text and type in the text that I want to use for my t-shirt design. For my definition of travel, it's going to say the only thing you can buy that actually makes you richer. I think that'll work. So these are the three text elements that I'll be using for my t-shirt design. Now that I've added my text boxes and changed the text, we can start having a little fun. Whenever you select a text element, you'll notice the text toolbar appear at the top of the page. From here, you'll find all sorts of options for your selected text, such as the option to change the font, the size, the color, add formatting, add effects, and much more. So for my selected text here, let's use the drop down menu on the left hand side of the toolbar to select a new font. This will open up a menu where you can browse through hundreds of different fonts that you can select for your text. The fonts you select will depend on your design, your style, and your personal preference. Also, if you already know the font that you want to use, you can find it using the search bar up top here. Simply type in the font name and select it from the results. So the font for my travel text has now been changed. As you update your fonts and make other changes, you may have to resize and rearrange the elements on your template a bit. There we go. So for my other two text elements, I'm just going to select them and use the drop down menu to select the same font for both of them. Feel free to use different fonts if you like, but for my t-shirt design, I think the same font will look the best. And remember different fonts can have different sizes, so let's resize and rearrange my text elements to get them in the perfect location. To resize my text, I like to simply select it and drag the corner. Feel free to take your time and make sure you get everything exactly the way you want it. Also, when creating your t-shirt design, you also want to try to fill up as much of the template as possible. So let's click and drag to select all the elements on my template. And I can then move and resize all my elements at the same time. Feel free to continue editing by changing your text colors, adding supporting graphics, or anything else you like. But for this example, I think I'm just going to roll with this simple text design here. So to see how my design looks on a t-shirt, let's click the print with Canva tab up top here. This will open up a menu where we can view t-shirt mockups and order t-shirts directly from Canva if we wish as well. So let's see how my simple text design looks on the mockups here. Not bad. 
I think is simple yet stylish. Simple text designs like this are easy for anyone to make because you don't have to be too fancy. Minimalist designs with text is actually a popular trend in fashion. So let's close the menu here and add a new page to my project to go over another example of a text design. For this text design, I think I'll add a supporting graphic. So to get started, let's go to the menu on the left and click the text tab. From the text menu, let's click the tab here to add a heading to my template. Once you add a heading, go ahead and change the text to whatever you want to use for your design. You can then resize and rearrange your text element as needed. For this design, I think I'll add a subheading as well. I can then add the text for my subheading. And of course, I can then resize and rearrange it on my template. In order to resize and arrange both of my text elements at the same time, let's click and drag to select them both and rearrange them on my template. I'm going to make mine a bit bigger and move it towards the top center. Next, let's select my font, then use the drop down menu from the toolbar up top to select a new font. Take your time and browse through the fonts and select the one that works best for your design. Keep in mind, when you change your font, your text size may change, so you may have to adjust the size of your text element on your template. Let's go ahead and select the font for my second text element as well. For my second line of text, I'm going to use a different font. And then let's resize the text to line up with my top text. There we go. So here's a simple text design that we could use for our t-shirt. But let's see if we can make it even better. For this text design, I'm going to be adding a supporting graphic. So let's look at the menu on the left hand side here and click the elements tab. This will open up a menu where you can browse through tons of graphics, shapes, photos, and other elements. In the search bar up top, simply type in the type of graphic that you're looking for. Select the graphics tab to view only the graphics, and browse through thousands of graphics that are available in the Canva library. No matter what you type in, you'll likely find tons of available graphics. They have some free graphics, but to access all the graphics, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for my t-shirt design, Let's just go with this graphic here. Once you add your graphic to your template, go ahead and resize and rearrange it as needed. <laughs> Feel free to play around a bit and find the perfect spot for your graphic. And with your graphic selected, you can access the toolbar up top here where you can change the position of your graphic, edit the transparency, flip your graphic, and for many of the graphics on Canva, you can even change the colors. Feel free to continue editing your design, but I think I'm done with this one. So to preview how my design looks on a t-shirt, Let's click the Print with Canva button at the top here. From the menu on the right, let's click to open up the t-shirt mockups. Not bad. I think the graphic complements my text perfectly. And with access to the Canva library, you can find pretty much any type of graphic that you would need for your design. So even when creating simple text designs, adding a supporting graphic or shape from the Canva library may help make your design a little bit better. So let's close the menu here and add a new page to my project to go over one more example of a text t-shirt design. For this example, I'm going to make a text design that's a bit more complex. This will show you various techniques and options that you can use while designing t-shirts. So first, let's go to the menu on the left and click the text tab to add a heading to my template. For this text element, I'm going to type the word positive. Let's make it a bit bigger, move it up a bit, then select it, and use the drop down menu from the toolbar up top to select a new font. I think that'll work. So for my text element here, the next thing I want to do is make some duplicates. So to do this, let's select the text element, then click the duplicate icon from the menu here. I'm going to click it twice to make two duplicates so that each text element will have exactly the same size, font, color, and everything else. Next, let's move one of the text elements about halfway above the first element and the other one about halfway below it. When making your t-shirt designs, remember to be creative and don't be afraid to try some different things out. For my middle text, I want to make sure it's in front of both of the other text elements, so let's select it, then go to the position tab from the toolbar up top here. I can then move the bottom and top text behind the middle text. So my middle text is now in the front, but my design still looks like a mess. So let's continue editing and see what else we can do. If you select a text element on your template and go to the toolbar up top, you should see a tab that says effects. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can add all sorts of different style effects to your text. This includes effects like a shadow effect, an outline effect, and even a neon effect. These are all pretty cool, so I definitely recommend that you experiment with them. But for my design, I think I'm going to add the hollow effect to my bottom text and to my top text. There we go.
Now my text is a little bit easier to read, but let's see what else we can do to help it stand out a bit more. From the menu on the left, let's go to the Effects tab. This is where we can access all the graphics and shapes available on Canva. For my t-shirt design, I'm going to add a shape behind my middle text to help it stand out more. To view all the shapes available in the Canva library, let's click the See All tab here. As you can see, there are tons of different lines and shapes available on Canva for us to use. For my design, I think I'm just going to go with this first square shape here. When you select a shape, it should automatically be added to your template. So let's resize the square by dragging the sides, then select it, and use the position tab from the toolbar up top to move it in front of my bottom text and my top text, but behind my middle text. And if I move the shape behind my middle text now, it should form a nice background. Let's increase my template size so we can see a little better. Sometimes you may have to zoom in so you can edit the small details. So I think that makes a good background for my text, but I think I want to change the color. So with my shape selected, let's go to the toolbar up top and click the color tab. Here's where I can select any color that I want to use for my shape. I'm planning to upload this to a black shirt, so I'm going to keep things simple and change my shape to black. I think that should look pretty cool. And remember, as you're designing, feel free to make little adjustments as needed. So next, I think I'll add another text element to my design. To do this, let's go to the text tab on the left hand side. From here, I think I'll select to add a subheading. I can then rearrange the text element on my template and change the text. I also want to change the color of my text, so let's select it and go to the color tab from the toolbar up top. For this text element, I think I'll go with red. And using the drop down menu on the left here, I'm also going to change the font. Feel free to browse the fonts and find the perfect one for your design. For my font, this time I think I'll go with cursive. And when you change your font, you'll likely have to resize and rearrange your element as well. There we go. So from the text tab, let's add the last line of text to my design. This time, I'm going to select the body text tab. For this text element, I'm going to move it to the bottom of my design. I can then select it and change what the text says. And of course, we can select it and use the drop down menu from the toolbar up top to change the font. And for my bottom text, I want it to be the same length as my middle text. So let's select it and go to the spacing icon from the toolbar up top. From here, I can adjust my letter spacing and make it just as wide as my middle text. I think that looks much better. And the last thing I think I'll do is add a background to my bottom text just like I did with my middle text. So let's go to the elements tab on the left hand side. Go to the shapes and select the square option. I can then resize my square and position it behind my bottom text. Adding backgrounds like this is a great way to help your text stand out. And actually, I think this will look a little bit better if my text was black. When creating your designs, try to have fun with it and make any changes as you see fit. So here's my new Positive Vibes Living My Best Life t-shirt design. To see how it looks on an actual t-shirt, let's click the Print with Canva tab up top here. I can then click to view the t-shirt mockups. From here, make sure your design looks good and it doesn't need any other changes. And if everything looks good, feel free to order t-shirts directly from Canva or download your design to print yourself or add to your print on demand store. But before we wrap up creating text designs, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. For some designs you create, it may be required to add a curve to your text. To do this, simply select your text, then go to the Effects tab from the toolbar up top. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the menu on the left, you should see the Shapes section. If you click the Curve option, it'll add a curve to your selected text. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see a slider bar where you can adjust your curve. Simply slide it to the left to curve your text up, or slide it to the right to curve your text down. Adding a curve or other effects to your text can really help your design stand out. So once you're ready to download your design, go ahead and go up to the share button at the top right of the page. From the menu, let's go down to the download tab. Here's where we can select our download settings. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. This will allow you to adjust the size and the transparency of your design. Using the size slider bar, I like to make my design at least 3500 by 4500 pixels. Also, to make sure your design isn't downloaded with the background, make sure you check the transparent background option. But keep in mind, in order to adjust the size and download your design with the transparent background, 
you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So once you finish selecting your download settings, go ahead and click the download button and your new t-shirt design will be downloaded to your computer. You can now add your new text design to t-shirts or upload it to your online store to sell as a print on demand product. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Canva t-shirt design for beginners tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.